Hey guys, Alex here, just recording uh, this video on how to improve your paddling when surfing. Uh, so I'm just going to run you through what I do to improve my paddling whilst I'm surfing and hopefully this can help you with uh, your surfing as well. So the first thing I do when I get down to the beach and jump onto my board is that I look to make sure that my balance on the surfboard is correct. So the reason that I'm doing this is because I don't want my board to be too far back in the water or too far forward on the water. If it's too far back on the water, the water's sort of going to get stuck underneath it and uh, I'm not able to push the board forward correctly as I'm paddling. At the same time, if uh, my balance is too far forward on the board, that nose is going to really dig into the water and uh, that's going to result in me nose diving as I'm paddling. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're trying to get the balance on your board just horizontal. So if you imagine uh, like a ruler from a hardware store that's got that little um, water uh, element in it and the air bubble trapped inside that, you don't want it too far to one side, you don't want it too far to the other side, you want it to be just sort of sitting nicely uh, in the center. And what that will allow you to do is yeah, just really kind of get, uh, well maximize all the efficiency out of your paddling into actually propelling your board forward. So the next thing that I do when I jump on my board is I obviously start to paddle, but before I do that, I arch my back up. So jump into the water, jump onto the board, uh, get a bit of like a propulsion out into the water past the shore break, and then what I do is I arch my back up, uh, not too much, but not too little at the same time, just to where it's comfortable. Some people say it's like having a, uh, a small soccer ball underneath your chest, uh, but yeah, I, I don't think it's actually quite that much, but yeah, just a little bit upwards so that you've got a bit of extra reach to kind of dig down into the water. Um, what this is going to do is provide a really good base for you uh, to get that strength into the, into the paddle and get the maximum amount of efficiency as you can out of your muscles as well. The other thing that this, the reason it does this as well is that you'll actually be able to use these muscles kind of going down here rather than just the muscles in your, in your arms up there. So this results in a lot more muscle groups getting used in your, uh, your side muscles, your arm muscles, and your back muscles as well. And uh, ultimately, yeah, better paddling there as well. So the third thing I'm considering whilst I'm paddling as well is whereabouts my arms are in relation to the board. So you don't want your arms too far out paddling like this. You know, you just actually want to bring the, the arm down and nicely into the water, just sort of at a right angle uh, scenario. And the reason that you want to do this is that, once again, it's going to maximize amount, the amount of power that you're going to be able to get into the, uh, into the paddle. And uh, also it's going to like kind of help you not tire out too quickly. If your arms are all off to the side, then you're going to like kind of use up a heap of energy uh, trying to do that. Whereas if you just get it nice and streamlined into the uh, wake that's going on on the side of the boards as you get up a bit of speed, then that's going to be a, a much better experience for your paddling. Uh, so the fourth thing that I'm considering whilst I'm surfing is uh, what's going on with my hands while I'm paddling. So uh, you don't want your hands too rigid and flat like this. At the same time, you want to uh, you don't want them completely curved over like this. You want just like a nice little cup like that. And what that's going to allow you to do is just slice into the water with your hand, and as you pull down, capture some of that water and uh, pull yourself forwards. At the same time as you're doing this, you can spread your fingers out just a tiny bit to let a bit of water slip through it. So it's curved hand with a, a slight bit of space in between the fingers. And this allows you to vary the amount of water that's going through it. And uh, it's hard to explain, but it's sort of the feeling of being able to control how much power you're putting into that stroke as well. And uh, making sure that you're using the uh, best amount of energy in each stroke to the ratio of how much power that you're going to get out of it. So, yeah, I guess if you're just like doing your first couple of strokes then you might keep your fingers a bit closer together just to get as much power into it as you can. As you start to get up a bit of speed, you still want to uh, maintain that same cadence as you're paddling, but you might separate your fingers out a little bit to just let a bit of water through as well. Um, okay, so the final thing that I'm going to consider whilst I'm uh, improving my paddling on my surfboard is where my legs are. So the thing that uh, you want to do whilst uh, you're surfing is keep your legs together. So if your legs are out to both sides of the board, then you're going to have a hard time uh, maintaining your proper balance and your legs are going to be getting, like your foot's going to be getting caught in the water and like sending you off on different angles and slowing you down. So really just try to keep your legs together as you're paddling. This can be a little bit tricky, but 
if you uh, practice it over time, similar to that uh, concept that I talked about at the start of getting the right balance on your board, you'll find that you'll be able to just like get that perfect point on the board where you won't be falling off left or right, and uh, you'll just get really streamlined and, and go forward with it. Alright guys, that's uh, all I've got to talk about today on this topic. Let me know if, uh, if I've missed anything or if you've got any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Alright, thanks.